straight M drill. Straight M drill. Up, down, up, down. You go through four times. <coughs> Two on each side. The first one is always slow and let's kind of goof because I want them to overemphasize everything. So they're here, nice and low. Nice and low. And I feel like this. Nice and low. Work a little low. Hard plant. Arm movement. Force that leg back down the stem. It's a little, little, uh, over exaggerated. Bam, bam, point down. Notice the arms are moving because the arms help you get out. And then they would go through it fast on that side. Then we'll go to the other side, do the same thing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's working on getting their hips. Standard hitch drop. Bam, getting my hips down, getting out of a break, getting my hips down, getting out of a break. Plain and simple. The next one is an extra. There's two versions of an extra. There's a modified version, which I'm going to do first. And then there's the actual extra that's a full X. Here is the modified X drill. You're going to start with a good stance, facing that middle cone, nice and slow. Back to the middle. And they're done. Then they would do that fast. They'll say, well, coach, why do I got to kick this leg up so high? Why do I got to do all of that? Because nine times out of ten, when you jump, you're dragging your feet. You don't want to drag our feet. You want to force that to do this in practice, because then in the game, it's second nature. It's all second nature. The actual X drill is back to each cone. So I'm here. And then they finish through. Anytime they do this fast, when they get to the last portion of the cone, whether it's the M drill or the X drill, whenever they get to that last portion of the cone, they need to accelerate as hard as they can, except for when they're going fast. When they're going fast, they need to hit a second gear. Teach them now to hit that second gear, all right? Any questions on those two? Let's see your second gear. My second gear, I'm a little winded right now. <laughs> I've been doing this about three. I've been doing this about three. Three times now, I'm a little winded. But I could do it. I could do it. Because I, I got to demonstrate this one, so I got to save my energy for this one. <laughs> so, this is right here. This is called the egg drill. Kind of shaped like an egg, but Cody made a good point. I probably shouldn't call it the egg drill because I don't want them rounding anything. But I just said, that oh, looks like an egg. It's like a top. Yeah, it's like a top. This is to help with multiple break points in one single drill to help with getting vertical and to help with working on diving into a formation or diving away from a formation, okay? So we'll start down here. They can go through this one slow as well. I'd rather them do something slow and correct than fast and wrong. Say the ball's in there, they have their inside foot up. You say, okay, I want you to work into the formation on this one. Formation is that way because that's where the ball is. We're, they're gonna come in, no false step. This, this will be a false step. Push off that foot, they're running, they get to the cone. One hard plant, notice my shoulders are still facing you though. That's why I want my shoulders facing. I want them facing you. Now I've made this hard plant, now I'm vertical. As fast as I can, as fast as I can. I'm here, one hard plant again. Now, this is where we learn our multiple break points. Right here is a slant. Right here is a corner route or a flag route. Right here is a post. That's three different break points all in one little cut right there. Mm -hmm. And I don't, here's what, here's what kids will do. They'll try to count everything. And do that. I don't want that. One hard step. One hard step because that's the break point on those three routes. I'm here. Bam! I'm breaking. Here is the only place they have to break down. Hitch route, top of a hitch route, top of a comeback, top of a curl. All right? Comebacks are not really prevalent in, in youth. I don't know how many teams actually do it. But definitely a hitch and a, a hitch and a comeback. Uh, curl. So we break it down here, working back down the stair, and th that acceleration we talked about. Bam. They finish through as fast as they can. That's the sign of connecting the dots yep. again, just because they go with the line around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now say the ball is still in there, and you say, okay, I want to work. I want you to work away from the formation. Formation is there. We're working away from it. Mark. This this will be.
be an arc release, that would be a dive release. We dive into the pool, we dive into the formation. We arc away from the formation, we arc A for away, arc away. Same principle. I'll do this one fast, and this is what it should look like. So I'm here, no false step. Plant, plant, break down, plant. Plant as fast as they can. All right? Teaching all those routes and all those break points in one small drill, in one small drill. And I really like this drill because it teaches them to run full speed in a small area. When they're not in a small, when they're, when they're in a small area, they tend to want to, <laughs> they, tend, they tend to want to, they tend to want to be real choppy and count everything. Football needs to be played at full speed in small areas too. So that's why I have it all compact like that. Any questions on the egg drill? Okay. Last drill. Uh, loose drill, so this is good. You know, we don't have a ton of coaches, we've got all of your receivers and QBs working together. It's good uh, pre-practice drill, to get QBs loosened up. Uh, so first one, for us, we have basically three different footwork for our QBs. One is just like punch, plant, throw, quick game stuff. So on this one, the receiver will jog about 50, 60 percent. He's got a complete pass for the guard line right here. So we're working on hand over hand, not this. This is the toughest catch to make in America. The hardest catch. Catch and get vertical. How many times have we seen kids? I know I've done it eight times. Catch the ball coming across. Oh no, I want to go backwards. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So catch and get vertical. Muscle memory, muscle memory. Teach them to catch the ball, put a foot in the ground, and get vertical as fast as they can. Mm -hmm. Last one. 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 Last one.